everyone, welcome back to another top 10 video. This time I went out and found the top 10 favorite minions in the Final Fantasy XIV community. Thank you guys so much for filling out my Google form because I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much for that. It was really cool to see like all the different minions that you guys voted for. I felt like the minions that got the most votes had some sort of sentimental value to them. So that was really cool to see. Let's get straight into it. Number 10, Kuromaru, the cutest little ninja doggo. Kuromaru is tradable, so good news if you have lots of gil, you can just buy him straight off the market board. But if you do want to earn him for yourself, you can pray for the good RNG in your treasure drops in the Varian dungeon at Mount Rockon. Mount Rockon becomes available once you have completed the quest Minokia Wear, which becomes available once you have completed Endwalker. So if you're not anywhere close to finishing Endwalker and you want this minion now, you can just go buy him. Kuromaru is no doubt about one of the cutest dog minions in the game. Just look at his cute little red scarf. <laughs> Number 9, Capybara Pup. I feel like Capybara Pup has been a favorite for a long time. Look at those cute little beady eyes and his little sweat towel. Can't get enough of him. Lucky for you, Capybara is tradable. So once again, you can buy him off the market board for super cheap and get him in no time. But if you do want to go out there and get him yourself, you can get them from the level 70 Time Worn Gale Skin Maps. Gale Skin Maps can be gathered in specific Stormblood locations. Please check the description for those locations or I'll be here all day talking about locations for maps. <laughs> Number eight, the Wanderer's Campfire. The best addition to any little gathering with your friends online. This cute little campfire can be crafted by level 80 alchemists or once again, you can just buy it off the market board for a good price. It is time to get all warm and cozy with your friends with this little campfire. Number seven, the cutest of butterflies, Morpho. You guessed it, Morpho can be purchased off the market board. You guys are getting really lucky with this for a stupidly cheap price as well. If you do want to go get more for yourself, you can try your luck in the Lost City of Ampador Hard Dungeon. RNG is not great, so I don't really recommend that. Or you could try your luck with drops in Heaven on High or the Material 3.0 containers from your grand company or Kubo Fortune, which is a game of chance once again, which can be played while delivering certain items to Hotkin in the firmament. Honestly, just buy him off the market board like I did. He's worth it. <laughs> Number six, our little Australian representative, the Koala Joey. The Koala Joey has one of the cutest animations in the game. The way that he'll just run up your leg and come and sit on your shoulder is so freaking cute. I think that's why everyone likes him so much, to be honest. So you can get the Koala Joey off the market board for a good price or get him from your retainers as they can bring him back from Highland Exploration Quest. There are specific ones that he comes from, so make sure just to double check which ventures to go send your retainers on. Or if you're feeling lucky, Material Containers 4.0 or the Southern Front Lockboxes. Lots of different ways to go get your Joey. And we're halfway there already. Number five, the Ugly Duckling. But honestly, he ain't ugly. He's very, very cute. Ugly Duckling can be bought off the market board or you can get him from Palace of the Dead, the Bronze Sacks, or Never Reap, or the Kubo Fortune, or from Dragon Skin Treasure Hunts, the special portals that you get, you might get a drop. So with all these options, you have to get pretty lucky to get him, but you got the market board, you can just buy him. <laughs> Trust me, you you want the ugly duckling. You you gotta have him. He's so cute. Number four, it's another bird. Shoebill. Huh? Shoebill is available on the market board, but he is a little bit more on the costly side. If you don't have the gill to buy him, you've got you've got two choices. Either you can farm Amaro Dungeon, it's level 80 dungeon that you unlock at the end of Shadowbringers MSQ, or it's time to jump into the deep dungeon Eureka Orthos and pray for good luck with your silver and bronze tinged bags. I was a little bit confused at first when I got this minion. He didn't seem to want to follow me and he'll wait like a really long time until he'll just start gliding towards you. And then he, he just gives you a dirty look. Number three, a minion we all know and love. The cutest little panda, the lesser panda. How can you not love this guy? He will just climb up on your shoulder, cling on to you for his dear life. He is tradable, which means you can just buy him off the market board for a good price. But if you do want to go and get him for yourself, you can get him from the Airy Dungeon, which is a level 55 dungeon, or you can get him from Palace of the Dead Bronze Sacks, or the Time Worn Dragon Skin Maps and pray for a portal and for his drop. But if you don't have this little guy already, I'm definitely questioning why. It's time for our runners-up minion. You stood 
chunkiest little guy. Can you guess? It's Fat Cat. <laughs> it's time to send your retainers out to those specific water side explorations. Make sure to double check which ones Fat Cat comes from in the link below. Or if you guessed it, you can just go and buy him off the mark board. It's just that easy. Because our next minion is not easy to get. It's time for our top voted minion voted by the Final Fantasy XIV community. Now I know this minion has been hell to get for so many Final Fantasy XIV players. So I think this is why they hold this minion so dear to them. Starbird. Starbird is a gorgeous minion. The Starbird minion can come and sit on your shoulder and hang out with you. It's a perfect representation representation of our journey through Endwalker, so it means a lot to us. So the only way you can get Starbird is by the treasure drop at the end of the Dead Ends dungeon, which is the Endwalker dungeon. The drop rate isn't good at all, <laughs> so I wish you the very best of luck if you're going to go out there and try and get your Starbird minion. Good luck, have fun guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you all so so much, bye bye!